What do you think? Would you sack Sam if you were in Keir's position? Frankly, I just would have ignored it because I just think it's insane. Ken's a very old friend. I've marched with him. I think I've been on many more strikes of picket lines than he has because I spent my professional life in trade unions as an official. The youngest president of the NUJ took the BBC out and strike on the Grunwick picket line and all the rest of it. But in the week the Tories are eating each other, Keir takes away the press headlines from the Tories and turns it on Labour. So just from a tactical point of view, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Nobody specially had noticed Sam, uh, Terry, uh, on a picket line. I mean, I was talking to Mick Lynch in a demo at King's, uh, King's Cross about a month ago. I mean, Mick Lynch was wiping the floor with Grant Shapps. And suddenly, here we are, what, three, four, five days later, we're having a sort of big discussion about the Labour Party and the trade unions. And Ken will know that is a discussion that both of us have been engaged on since we first took out a party card, probably between us more than 100 years ago. Do you think that this has divided um, the sort of feeling towards um, the Labour Party from our trade unions? Because they'll see that. And even though Keir said it's because he was making policy of, of, on the hoof, and not necessarily the fact that he was kind of picketing because others are picketed but probably didn't make the TV appearances. Um, do you think that this is now splitting a lot of the, 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 the support of trade unions towards Labour? I genuinely don't because time and again I wanted to go on marches with steel workers in my steel constituency in South Yorkshire and I was phoned up and told not to go on them. We don't want to see you on that march, Dennis. Who phoned me up? the trade unions. The RMT, Mick Lynch's union, is not affiliated to the Labour Party. We've got this curious phenomenon of three different unions for our small little rail sector, RMT, ASLEV, and a union called TSSA. On Europe, there's just one union for all railway workers. They don't have to go on strikes. They've got a lot of power. Mm. But Mick Lynch is also a big pro-Brexit guy. He doesn't like Europe. So again and again, I come back to the point. And the other problem is... That ever since Ken became mayor of London, union membership's gone down. Now, I'm not saying that's cause and effect, because I'll say to him, that ever since I became an MP a few years before he became mayor of London, union membership's gone down. It's now about eight or nine percent. So the yeah, working but... class workers of any sort in Britain are not joining trade unions.